Hi guys, here we are again. Just giving you a bit of footage of the mum. She's a Bedlington Deerhound Cross. Ever such a baby, aren't you? Yeah, ever such a baby. Real softy. Lovely temperament. I wouldn't know a better house dog, to be fair. She's a bit scruffy looking, but <laughs> when she's cleaned up, she'd be lovely in the house, wouldn't you? Hey? She is a real softy. She's a real softy. Stands about 21 and a half, 22 inches to the shoulder there. And I think she's probably about four years old now, something like that. So this is a first litter. We can hear them over there behind us now. So we're just gonna let her out to have a wee. And we'll go in and have a look at her pups. We'll just change the bed now. We're giving them a nice clean bed, haven't we, baby? Hey, okay. yeah. Let's go out now. So we're gonna let her out and then we'll go in and see the pups. There we are, off she goes. She's happy. Oh, coming back in. <laughs> go on, off you go. Right, okay. So there we are. Two weeks old now. Coming on well. All big strong pups. There's one slightly smaller than the others. But they're all growing well. They're just starting to get their eyes open now. What's the matter with you? Just getting their eyes open. I think there's just one that's not got its eyes open yet, but obviously I think when their eyes open, their ears open. The legs are getting stronger. They're standing up. Some of them are starting to stand up properly now. So at two weeks old, it's like they're saying the terrible twos, is it? Two weeks, they'll start being trouble. Won't be long before they get the get the bit more strength in the legs, and then and then they'll be everywhere. They spend a lot of time. Well, they spend most of the time sleeping, actually. Still, we've just disturbed them all, obviously, because we've just changed the bed. But. Uh, We've still got the heat lamp on them. The heat lamp hasn't been turned off all the while they've been, since they've been born. So they've had that on all the time. And I think we're on Thursday now and the weather forecast for over the weekend is quite chilly. So I'll be leaving this lamp on them. That won't be turned off until I think they can manage without it. They could probably manage without it now, but to be honest, I don't see why we should make them struggle got that, that extra bit of warmth and keeps them cozy and keeps them warm and when mum's not about and they've got nothing to snuggle up to it just keeps gives them that extra bit of warmth oh there's one with attitude but when mum's not here with them they're just they're just spread out everywhere some of them will be piled on top of the others. Others will just be crashed out on their own. No worries at all. It's lovely and warm in there, in here for them now. They're getting a bit angsty now because they want the mum. They've woken up. What do they want to do? They want to feed. Mum's not here, so it's where's mum? Where's mum? I want my dinner. She's feeding them really well though because you can see that. Have a close up of that one there. You can see how big and solid they are. If they stayed like that, I wouldn't want that as a running dog. <laughs> She's so solid and heavy. But uh, obviously they'll shape up as they grow. And they'll look a treat.
big strong pups, all of them. But then she's only got six to feed, so it's, there's no competition for food, obviously. They're, uh, they just feed as they wish. I can't believe it's two weeks since these were born. They've messed up the bed already, of course, because that's what they do. But when mum comes in, she'll clean everything up until we start them on solid food, and then she'll stop doing that. But as soon as, as soon as this, until there's, uh, until they start on solid feed, she'll uh, she'll clean everything up and keep that bed as clean as she can. Listen to that one. Where's mum? Where's mum? I'll be giving the vet a ring before long and getting him to come down. My vet only lives half a mile down the down the lane, literally. And he specialises in running dogs. He's used, he used to work on the greyhound tracks up in the northwest here, looking after all the greyhounds, making sure they were all fit and healthy. And he comes up, he'll come up and have a look at them for me and make sure there's no issues with these pups at all. I've no concerns. As far as I can see, they all seem fighting fit. We'll be worming them very shortly. It won't be long before they'll see us and they'll be jumping up at the front here. Onto the fuss. Just pop them all across here in the light for you. They've all crashed out again. They're obviously. Look at you. Look at you. We still can't tell what the coats are going to be like on them. It's hard to say. You see, you could say that that was going to be rough, but. I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't like to bet on it with any of them, to be honest. I can't reach. There we go. Whatever they're going to be like, they've got good thick coats on them. So there we are. That's the latest update. We're going to let mum, get mum back in here in a minute, I think, because this little one is looking for its mum. We'll put you with your mates and then. So I hope you've all enjoyed that. As I say, that's two weeks old now. And we'll put another one up in another few days. So... Look after yourself, stay safe, and uh, I hope you've all enjoyed it. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.